Question number 29. A father said to his son, In years back, I was as old as you are now. My present age is four times your age in years back. Then if the sum of the sum of the present ages of father and the son is 30, what is the difference of their age? This is the question. So this is based on age-related um, concept as well as you need to use a little bit of algebra into it to solve it. Okay, so it's all it's a doable one. It's not that difficult. So let's start by assuming or let's start by uh, introducing a variable for father's percentage and son's percentage. These are the two unknowns here, right? Father's percentage, son's percentage. I'm, I'm going to put F for father's percentage. So it's easy for you to understand F means father's percentage and S means son's percentage. And the question is asking, what is the difference of their ages, right? F minus S is what exactly you need to find, the difference of their ages. Now let's start by forming the equations based on the word problem here. So in years back, so the father is talking to his son, right? So in years back, I was as old as you are now. I means father. So 10 years back, the father's age, in years back, the father's age is F minus N. Okay. And I'm as old as you are now means, which is equal to the present age of son, which is S. So this is the first equation. Second equation, my present age, that means F, the father's present age is F is equal to four times your age, four times the son's age in years back. So in years back, the son's age is going to be n minus, uh, sorry, uh, in years back, the son's age is s is the percentage in years back, it's s minus n, four times of this value. So this is going to be the second equation. f is equal to four times s minus n. So the third statement that we have here is the sum of the present age of the father and son is 130 years. So I'm forming an equation out of that. So it's going to be sum is F plus S is 130. And from that, I need to find F minus S. So you can see there are three equations and how many variables are there? F, S and N, there are three variables. So definitely three equations, three variables means you will be able to solve it. Okay. You will be able to solve it. This is enough. Three equations, three variables. That's enough to solve and find individual value for, for F and, and uh, S. So you'll be able to find answers. So next is how you're going to solve it. Okay, so you should be a little bit, uh, your fundamentals of uh, algebra should be strong so that uh, you'll be able to solve it. Okay, so first step, what we're going to do is from these two, I'm going to try to get rid of N. Okay, so once you get rid of N, then it's easy for you to, uh, like you have equation with two variable F and S, you can use the, this to solve it. That's the idea what we're going to do. It, okay. So how will you get rid of this? Let's start with, let's open the bracket. It's 4S minus 4N. So what I'm going to do is instead of N, you could replace it by uh, substitution. Instead of N, you can replace by here. So from the first equation, N is equal to F minus S. Right. If I take n on the other side, n is equal to f minus s. And the second one, instead of n, I'm going to replace with f minus s. I'm going to use substitution method here to get rid of the one variable. Okay. So f is equal to 4s minus 4 times instead of n. I'm putting it as f minus s, right? So you open the bracket. It's 4s minus 4f minus again, minus times minus s plus 4s. Yeah. That's it. So you am taking f on one side, so you have 5f is equal to 8s. So you have a direct relationship between the two variables f and s. So you have again one more equation here, f plus s is uh, 130. So you can again use substitution or what you can do is uh, you, can, you can simplify. See, I am multiplying this equation by 5 in both sides. So it's easy for you to substitute, right? I'm multiplying by 5 on both sides. So it's going to be 5f plus 5s is equal to 130 times 5. So what I'm going to do is instead of 5f, I replace it by 8s. So it's easy for your calculation. So 8s plus 5s is equal to 130 times 5, which is nothing but 13s is equal to 130 times 5, or s is equal to 130 times 5. Upon 13, you can simplify it further which is equal to 50. 
So value for S is 50. That means father's age is equal to, you can use this, the sum of them, sum of their age is 130. So if one of them is 50, the father's age is 130 minus 50, which is 8. So now you found the value for the father's percentage and the son's percentage. And the question is asking to calculate the difference. The difference is nothing but 80 is the father's percentage minus son's percentage is uh, 50. So 80 minus 50, your answer has to be 30. Option A is the right answer. So you again, I just want to like, tell you one more thing. You can use your own method while eliminating the variables or simplifying these algebra equations okay it's not mandatory that you should follow the same so you could use your method okay so this i find more easy for to simplify that's why i multiplied this equation by five so that it's easy for substitution or what you can do is uh, you can write as f is equal to eight by five s and then you replace f by eight by five s that's also fine that's the same thing so I just need to get rid of the, the fractions. So that's why I multiplied by five. So it's easy for you to substitute. That's it. So there is no set rule that you should follow, whichever you feel more convenient uh, to solve the algebra equations, you should use that. So your answer is option A in this question.